Who are you? The first men called us the children, but we were born long before them. In order to understand the Game of Thrones prequel Blood Moon in a better way, you need to understand the events that happened in the past and the order in which it happened. So in this video, I'll discuss all the major events of Westeros, beginning from the Dawn Age till the end of the Long Night. So stay tuned for that. Hello everyone! Welcome to Ultimate Book Maniacs, your one stop for book and TV series reviews. I post episode reviews, top 10 and theory videos. And I post new videos every Saturday at 7 pm IST or at 9.30 am EST. So make sure to subscribe this channel. And if you wanna make sure you never miss a video, click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Dawn Age once upon a time, long before the arrival of first men, there lived a magical species called the children of the forest. They called themselves those who sing the song of the earth in the true tongue. They used to live off the land. They used to dwell in caves, crannogs, and hidden tree villages, and used to wear bark leg bindings and shirts of woven leaves. They were a people with a deep connection to the land. They shared this land, which will later be known as Westeros, with giants. According to the legends, the children of the forest were gifted with supernatural powers. They had power over the beasts of the wood, the ability to wear an animal's skin, aka of working into them, the ability to speak to the dead, maybe like branded with Ned, and they had green sight, that is, the ability to have prophetic dreams and see the future. As I discussed in my theory videos, these powers transfer to the first men over time. Almost 12,000 years before Aegon's conquest, the first men crossed the Arm of Dawn and came to Westeros from Essos. Initially, the children welcomed the newcomers, but when they started cutting down the weirwood trees, Thinking the children used the heart trees to spy on them, they started a war. Your brother will get no help from them where he's going. The old gods have no power in the south. The wayward's there were all cut down a long time ago. How can they watch when they have no eyes? The children used their weirwood hunting bows, obsidian weapons, and their powerful magic in the battle. Whereas, the first men fought with their bronze weapons and leathern shields. They also brought the first horses to Westeros along with their own gods. The children broke the Arm of Dawn in an attempt to end the invasion. They also used their powers to turn the first men and ended up creating the first White Walker. But none of this worked. The first men pushed deeper and deeper into Westeros and established hundreds of petty kingdoms. After fighting for almost 2000 years, the children and the first men came to a standstill. They decided to end the war and signed a pact at the Isle of Faces. The pact gave the first men dominion over open lands and the children of the forest got the forested areas. And then came the Age of Heroes. The pact brought peace and prosperity to Westeros which lasted for almost 4000 years. This peaceful era was called the Age of Heroes. During the Age of Heroes, the children and the first men grew closer. The first men abandoned their gods and accepted the children's old gods and their customs. Many great houses from Game of Thrones were founded during the Age of Heroes, and many great figures are said to have lived during this era, like Bran the Builder, who is the founder of House Stark in the north. Lan the Clever, founder of House Lannister, who winkled Casterly Rock from the Casterlies in the Westerlands, or Garth the Gardener, who is the founder of the now extinct House Gardener in the Reach. House Gardener died out in the Field of Fire in the War of Aegon's Conquest. Duran Godsgrave, who is the founder of another sort of extinct house, that is House Durandon, and the builder of Stormsend also lived in this era. House Durandon also died out during the War of Aegon's conquest 
but its sigil and house words were adopted by House Baratheon. The Grey King also ruled the Iron Islands during this era. The Long Night Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. Kings froze to death in their castles, and women smothered their babies rather than see them starve. In that darkness, the White Walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses. After almost 4,000 years of peace came the long night. The night seemed to last a generation, and the longest, coldest, and darkest winter descended upon Westeros. The ice spread from the north, and under the cover of darkness, the others came from the uttermost north, aka the lands of always winter. They killed everyone they found on their march south, and raised them as their servants, and nearly destroyed Westeros. We don't know what happened to the White Walkers since the signing of the pact, but as I said in my Craster's Sons and why there were no female White Walkers videos, I think they were biding their time and growing their armies during the Age of Heroes while Westeros enjoyed some peace. The First Men and the Children of the Forest united to defeat the others. The Night's Watch was also formed during this time. They fought with dragonglass weapons and pushed the White Walkers back. Bran the Builder built the wall with the help of giants and the children of the forest and built Winterfell and founded House Stark. There comes my Stark blood theory. I'll leave the link to that video in the end, in case you wanna check it out. Ever since then, the wall has been manned for thousands of years to keep the White Walkers out of Westeros. But the 13th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch was seduced by a White Walker woman. He brought her back to Castle Nightford and declared himself the Night's King. I've discussed him and this White Walker woman in my Why There Are No Female White Walkers video. During his reign, horrible atrocities were committed. The King Beyond the Wall, Jorman, and the King of Winter, Brandon Stark, joined forces to defeat the Night's King. After his fall, when it was discovered that he was making sacrifices to the others, all records of him were destroyed, and his very name was forbidden and forgotten. This was the reason why the Night's Watch was forbidden to construct walls from the south. Somewhere around this time, the New Gods, aka the Faith of the Seven, was founded in Essos, and the Andals came to Westeros. Also, while Westeros was recovering from the long night, the small folks of the Valyrian Peninsula found dragon layers, which eventually resulted in the rise of the Valyrian Freehold. If you want me to make more timeline videos till the recent events of Game of Thrones, let me know in the comments. So, what do you think of this video? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. If you like this video, please click on the like button below. Share the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.